Hey guys, it's Deb here with Creative Life. Welcome back to my channel, y'all. So today we're starting a My Crafting World Designs project and using this super cute little memory decks card die and this is the gingerbread mem decks and you can use my discount code debbie10 over at the shop when you go purchase this die so on not only this die but many other dies if you want to um it's still a uh, halloween so if you haven't gotten some of those halloween dies yet you might want to go ahead and check out the shop so here i went ahead and used the sugar cookie prima paper and i went ahead and used a pink uh tinted paper and then i went ahead and used my just my um memento cocoa brown uh or rich cocoa ink to ink up the edges of my gingerbread man now these right here are the little frosting pieces that go over his feet and they are so cute now i did cut out like four of these and I layered them all together. And I'm going to share that with you in just a bit in um, in the rest of the video. But um, here I layered them up. And then I'm placing them on top of my little gingerbread guy. And um, <laughs> I did go ahead and put some little foam tape on the bottom of his feet there. Uh, just to give him a little bit of a 3D dimension. And I think it looks really cute. I also love uh, the little you know frosting pieces the white pieces that I cut out and I layered them up really high because I really feel that it gives it a really nice dimensional look um, you know like when you see real gingerbread men and they have the little frosting on them so I really like how this turned out and um, then uh, what I did is I went ahead and just, like I said, inked up the edges on all of the little pieces and with that um, Rich Cocoa Memento ink. Okay, and um, this little Memdex card is so stinking cute. If you don't have this one, it is so stinking cute for any of your swaps that you're doing. If you love doing Memdex swaps, you're going to want this one because it is so cute. So it does come with uh, some eyes and a mouth, but I loved this little Peachy King stamp set that I had in my stash that had faces on it. And so I went ahead and used this one. I just went ahead and used the brown uh, ink that I had. And then I was looking through the chipboard and I found that little Santa hat and I thought, oh my God, it's so cute. So I went ahead and stuck that up on his little head there. And then I went ahead and I stuck the green hearts on him and then i thought you know what i kind of really didn't like that look so i went for the pink hearts instead and i thought that they went a little bit better so i stuck those little hearts on there and then went ahead and glued on the little hat and um yeah so that's what we did for this part Next, I went ahead and used the Nouveau Crystal Glare um, on the eyes and the hat and the little pink heart buttons. And this just adds a little bit of a shininess to him. And it also gives it like a 3D look. So it, I think it really makes it pop. After that, I went ahead and used my Smooch Pearlized Top Coat. And this is, um, again, it's Smooch. And I just use this to kind of give the little frosting edges, um, borders, a little bit of a glaze. And I really liked how it looked, but I just felt like it needed more. So um, I do add some stickles to the little edges here, and you'll see that in just a bit. So then I brought in some chalk, and these are the chalks from Stampin' Up! that I've had in my stash for a long time. I just used some pink on his little cheeks there, and then I was going to go ahead and use it for his lips, but I decided to go ahead and just use a colored pencil to color in his lips, and he's done! So here is where I was telling you that I was gluing uh, the the little white borders on top of each other and so i just cut out four pieces of um, the right and left foot and then four pieces of the little border of the body 
and then I went ahead and glued them all together. Um, I, like I said, it just added the lift I think that it needed to make it a little bit more 3D, and I really like how that looked. So here I am uh, just edging the little gingerbread man body uh, with the Memento Rich Cocoa ink. And I really think that this brown looked so good on this pink. Now I know it kind of looks like a creamy color, but it is a, a, like a really light pink. Um, I think it looks really good. Now once I was done inking my feet, I just went ahead and placed those little frosting pieces <laughs> right on top of the little feet. Um, so it's like a little frosting border and I just think that these looked so stinking cute. Um, like I said, I added uh, four layers on top of each other. I just think it was the, it's just so fun to add a dimension to this little gingerbread guy. Now this is the second gingerbread Memdex card I am showing you. And so for this one I used um, the just the little string um, foam tape that I have in my stash. <clears throat> and so again, just place that right on top of the little gingerbread man body. And um, yeah, so I think this turned out so cute. <laughs> I think these are wonderful little Memdex cards and um, definitely super cute for giving uh, away as just a little gift. You can even use these on cards, you guys. So how cute is that? So here I added another little face to my gingerbread gal. I'm going to call this one a gal because um, we have uh, something coming up here in just a minute that I used for this one and it turned out super cute. Again, I went ahead and grabbed my chalks, just added a little bit of pinkiness to her, her little cheeks there. So cute. And then um, colored in her little bottom lips there. Next, we're going to go ahead and uh, add these little chipboard stars that are from the paper collection Sugar Cookie, and I think they look adorable on her. So here I created a little bow, and this little bow is from the die set, I think it's the box purse die set, and I love this little bow. I thought it went really well with the little uh, frosting borders around the um, little gingerbread girl, um, and I went ahead and just grabbed a poinsettia and placed that on top. Okay, guys, we are done with our little gingerbread <laughs> girls here, and I have, you know, gingerbread man, gingerbread girl. <laughs> I think these turned out so stinking cute, and um, we went ahead and dolled this one up. I added uh, some little um, chipboard hearts from the Prima collection. Um, I used the little chipboard hat, and I think that looks so sticky cute. The little face is from Peachy King Stamps, and I used this one and um, on both of these. And then I went ahead and I used some white smooch uh, for the um, little, you know, zigzag frostings uh, on the around the body and the feet um, but then and it's pearl pearlized uh, I did two coats but then I went over it after it dried with diamond um, stickles and I think it turned out super cute I absolutely love how he turned or she turned out <laughs> he I think this one's a boy this one's gonna be the girl because she has a bow in her on her head and I stuck a little prima flower there the bow that I used is actually from the box purse and it's this bow right here I thought that was super cute I loved the little um filigree or little uh, scalloped edges and I thought it went really well with the um, little edges of the frosting around the body and the feet. 
um, I went ahead and used little uh, gold stars from the chipboard set from Prima and then stamped her little face, added some little um, cheeky rosy cheeks and then colored in their little tongue. I thought it was so cute. And then for the eyes, I used um, Nouveau Crystal Glare. And it just, uh, mine came in a little bottle like this. I think this was just a, like a little sample bottle um, in one of my kits. <clears throat> so I used that. And I think this turned out so cute. Now the paper collection that I used for the front um, is actually a pink. And it's from the Sugar Cookie uh, paper collection. And I did, uh, let's see if I have a, one in here. I don't know. I think I used them both. I don't think I have an extra one in here, but it's it's one from the paper collection. Let me see, and I will show you because I really liked the pink. It was a very subtle pink, and it wasn't too too much pink. So, um, and I just it, this one right here actually, it's this right here. It's more like um, it's like a pink, but uh, really light um creamy color and um it's so pretty i absolutely love it and so anyway i thought it would go good for this and then i went ahead and inked the edges with the memento rich cocoa that i had in my stash and um so yeah so that's what i did for these little memdex cards and then the back i just went ahead and placed another um cut out another piece uh and i did one with the cookie and then the wooden plank on it I think that's super cute and then I can go ahead and you know write down whatever I need to on the cute. back of these and so again this one is um, the gingerbread mem decks and so you get the little uh, frosting edges and you get the little body the feet the little eyes and mouth um, and then um, for the little bow you want to get um, the box purse okay and this is the bow that is in that and y'all um i did make a um box purse uh and i'll go ahead and share that video with you guys after this video uh so you'll have a link in in after this video and you'll have a link down below in the description box for you and um yeah so oh my gosh this turned out so stinking cute i hope you guys liked the tutorial super easy peasy um the one thing i, I will say is that um i did go ahead and layer this one three times uh so i cut out the white paper three times um and then this one i cut it out four times i really like um I think it gives it more like a 3D dimension instead of just the one little uh, one little border around the body and the feet. I really um, like layering these, and they were super easy to do. So uh, you just cut them out three or four times, and then you layer it up. And so, yeah, so I really like that. Anyway, thank you guys again. <laughs> Don't forget to use my code Debbie10 when you stop over at the shop and save yourself some money. I think they it's really worth it, uh, especially if you're getting any of these dyes, uh, especially for the holidays. Save some money, you guys. Use my code Debbie10. And again, I will have all the links down below for you. Y'all have a great weekend or week whenever you're watching this. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Thanks again for joining me, y'all. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below. And don't forget to go over to My Crafting World Designs to visit Anna's store. Thank you all so much for joining me. Take care and have a great day.